welcome back to a new video. Um, it didn't feel right for me to post other videos without talking about this incident. I'm just here to spread the word and bring awareness about what happened to Jay. Me and my friend Caro, uh, we decided to take our dogs to the beach for them to have fun. Um, I was trying, I was even actually vlogging it, talking about how Jay is 10 years old and I wanted him to experience um, more things like other than just going to the park. So it was my idea to take the dogs to the beach. So we went, everything was perfect. The dogs loved it. Um, Jay loves to play fetch. So that's what we were doing. I had a tennis ball and one of his favorite, uh, like a bone toy. And we kept playing fetch and he was having the time of his life, honestly. And it made me really happy. But the very next day, um, when my fiance went to work, he started noticing that Jay was not comfortable. Um, he would lay down and he would get up, lay down, get up. And then he's the one that first mentioned it to me. I didn't think nothing of it, honestly. We turned on the light and I saw there was um, like yellow throw up, which usually happens here and there to um, some dogs, um, which is normal. So I didn't really think much of it, but then as the day progressed, he became very sleepy, but then even in his sleep, he would get up, because I don't know, he just didn't seem comfortable. I had to go to work, so I left him with my sisters at the beginning, and I told them like, hey, if he doesn't feel better, please take him to the vet. My fiance came back from work, and I was texting him like, hey, how's Jay doing? He said he was just sleeping, but, and I told him the same thing that I told my sisters, if he doesn't feel well, like, please take him to the vet. Um, because I was really worried. I've never seen him like that. And then this is when my boo was doing like tests on him. Um, so I know he told me that one of them was trying to play fetch with him with his favorite bone. He loves his bone and he tried it. He didn't even like get up to try and catch it or anything like that. He wasn't really, from this point on, like the afternoon part, he was still throwing up and he was not eating. We try to make him eat and then now it's becoming not normal because he keeps throwing up <clears throat> so then i was at work and i would text him and then i get a text of, uh from my fiance saying that like he sends me a picture and they're at the vet but i don't know why something told me like that things weren't right i don't know i just felt it so at this point i was already almost off work and i told him like hey stay there um i'll meet you and like on my way over there, I was just crying because like I felt like it was, I guess a little bit more serious. And then when we, when I got there, they told us that we had to do x-rays and, um, and blood work. So we agreed on that. And then, uh, because that was the only way for them to really find out what was going on. They asked my fiance if we had smoked like, like, marijuana around him we we're like no none of that like we know it's nothing like that and then they posted the x-rays of his body and i don't know i've never seen a, a dog x-ray but i just felt something was wrong and then that's when the vet came in and he told us that he has something called sand impaction which is when dogs eat sand um either on purpose or accidentally which was what happened to jay because he wasn't i never saw him eat the sand he was literally just playing with his bone but obviously as he went to go get it some of it you know he was um ingesting some of it which caused a blockage in his bowel and um at this point i just felt very very guilty because i was the one with the idea and i felt like i put gato's dog at risk so this is when um, he said we have two options. He said we can go and go ahead and do the surgery. And I asked him, okay, like if we do the surgery, like what chances are you giving me? And then he looks at us and he just says, I don't know. I don't know until we open him. And then we just kind of stayed quiet because like a lot was going through our head. And um, then the next option he said that if we didn't want to do the surgery, he's like, if you don't want to do the surgery, he's like, just euthanize him. He's like, because I speak for animals, I do not speak for people. 
and this is a painful death so yeah so i was just going through it my fiance kind of had to take it from there because i was just going crazy because like i said i felt like it was my fault um and nobody talks about it and this is why i'm here trying to talk tell you guys about it because i've never heard of sand and passion you see movies you see dogs at the beach all the time and i've never ever heard of this and so yeah so basically those were our two options the surgery wasn't even like a, yes he will survive he said that he had to open open him to see if he would like how much it had damaged his insights i guess and it was already by this time um it was maybe like 11 45 p.m and so we signed the paperwork to decide on the surgery and they said that they would give us a call around like 2 a.m and then from there uh we left them they let him, they let us um see him before he went into surgery and he looked so scared like he, he was just looking at my fiance kind of like why did you bring me here like but yeah guys um those like hours before that like the phone call it was just really really hard um because you know me you know jay is like my first child <laughs> um and we didn't know we were gonna like if that was it you know and i just another reason why i felt guilty is because i always think about jay being older and i, I felt like of him being older and then passing away and i was like really sad like just thinking about that stuff but the fact that I took him to the beach and I caused it in a way, I get it. Like a lot of people were telling me that it wasn't my fault, but it just, my brain, I was just, it was working overtime to make me feel guilty. But we had a lot of people praying for Jay. So thank you guys so much. Um, the surgery was extremely expensive. We weren't prepared for that, but at that point, like I said, I was kind of out of it, so I told my fiance to check like my credit cards to find one that had like the max amount. I maxed one of my credit cards out. Um, obviously, this was like unexpected, um, and I, we didn't care at that point. We really didn't care. We just wanted to save Jay's life. And we came home, um, just waiting for the phone call, and then we get it. And I remember my fiance was kind of like nervous to pick it up, and they called us and they said that the surgery was successful i was we both were super freaking excited we were very grateful we literally started crying again but this time of like happy tears um and i i know there's other dogs that don't make it so i just wanted to make sure i'm not telling you guys not to take your dogs to the beach but if you guys do take them to the beach just be aware that this can happen and just like really check on your dogs when they're at the beach um personally for me i will never take my dogs again <laughs> no it's just a no like it was a really scary experience jay he got like a two inch cut and obviously um we have him home now this is his we got him back on friday friday so he stayed three days at the at the hospital so he's on his sixth day of recovery um he's doing amazing he did he did come home with about eight kinds of medication opening up a GoFundMe for my fiance and I to help us pay for 
vet bills to all of you guys who donated and shared the page we thank you guys so much um we really really appreciate it uh we still have it open um if you guys want to check it out i'll just leave it linked on the description page and let me show you guys jay and his little scar it's healing really well so this is jay and there's his scar it's healing really nicely we go to take it off august 18th and he should be back to normal he's i feel like he's already back to normal in a way he thinks he's back to normal he keeps trying to play fetch again with his bone let me show you guys the bone that he's obsessed with these bones you see that's what i mean <laughs> but yeah guys we're extremely grateful that we get another opportunity another chance with my jay and we're gonna keep living through experiences but not the beach right jay but yeah guys i hope um you guys have a great day if you know people who take their dogs to the beach please let them know just just so they know awareness okay sign and passion that's what it's called um and i'll see you guys on the next video say bye jay and tell everybody thank you for the donations